Hello, welcome in my vineyard. Today we are in Chambol Musigny. So Chambol Musigny is a beautiful appellation, but very small appellation, only 160 hectares of vineyard. If I compare to Nuit Saint-Georges, Nuit Saint-Georges is more than 300 hectares of vineyard. So in Chambol Musigny, we have some village, we have some premier cru, and we have some grand cru with the famous Bonne Mar and Musigny, which is the two grand cru we are in uh, we have in in Chambol Musigny. So Chambol Musigny is very small. You can see behind me the village of Chambol. Sorry, today is a little bit foggy, but the village of Chambol, just a very small village, and on the other side you have the village of Moresani. So between the two villages we have little bit more than one kilometer so it's quite nothing but the, the terroir is very different today uh, I want to explain you that if we have decided to make a mix of different Chambol is because we have produced just a Chambol Vieilleville with a mix of five different parcels all situated at a different uh, point of Chambol Musigny so in the in the south side of Chambol we have Chambol Musigny Fouché, which is a neighbor vineyard of Chambol Premier Cru Bornic, and at the top of this vineyard is Musigny, so limestone soil. In the north side of Chambol Musigny, neighbor vineyard from uh, Moresani area, which is called Gamer. Gamer is the soil, is deeper soil, but also uh, old, uh, old vine. And also, behind me, it's a part of the vineyard, which is uh, Fremière and just a neighbor vineyard which is Beaubrun so it's a very two different and very interesting Chambol, Chambol village why it's interesting because I'm on the road and this road is the limit between the village and the premier cru so here the village is Fremière which is a beautiful terroir and here this is a premier cru Noiro and just in the upper side you have Chambol premier cru Les Baudes and just after Les Baudes you have the famous Bonne Mar. So you can imagine in the past with the erosion of the soil we have some the clay down here so it's a deeper soil we don't have too much limestone but quite a good amount of clay and something I'm sorry that I can't you can't touch it but I like to describe the texture of the soil versus the texture of the wine when I take a little bit of clay between my finger, you can feel that it's very soft clay. And when you taste the Chambol Musigny uh, wine, it's always very soft, elegant, it's a silkness. And you feel a sort of analogy of the texture of the soil, like if I feel like this, versus the texture of the wine when you taste the wine. And I believe a lot about this analogy between the texture of the soil and, texture, and especially the texture of the clay and texture of the wine. So in 19, the Chambol Musigny, uh, Vieille Vigne, it's very, typi very typical of Chambol Musigny. It's a wine with a roundness, but not only a roundness. It's a little bit creamy because the vintage was quite ripe, and especially in Chambol Musigny. But also, you have the, the sophistication of Chambol you have a sort of silkness. I talk about silkness, it's a different type of density. You can have some density taste like velvet, so it's a little bit heavy, and a, de um, a density and a softness taste like silkness, so it's really much more light. But when I talk about lightness, I don't talk about uh, something thin. It's something light in a good way, in a, in a way of purity. So Chambon Musigny, it's a wine is still in aging in the barrel. It's a wine need a little bit more time because it's a wine with a good, uh, a good uh, maturity and also quite a good phenolic maturity. So we have decided to keep six months more in the vineyard, in the, in the, in the barrel, to expect a bottling at the beginning of the spring 2021. So hope to see you soon in our vineyard, hope to see you soon in our cellar. Thank you again and see you soon. Bye bye.